Hi everyone, this is a computer speaker mod that I recently completed. Uh, these things, I per well this one I purchased with a second one at tip for a couple of bucks. And what I've done is um, taken all the wires off it and made it battery powered and it also has um, a guitar input so it can play as an, a guitar amp as well as a iPod or whatever MP3 player as well. The speakers are pr pretty good in this little thing. Um, what's really surprising is though is the amp inside. Um, converting that into a guitar amp has made a, a really good sound come out of it. Surprisingly actually. I've done it um, on a few radios. There's my radios up there. I've done the same mod um, and you hacked into the amp inside the radio. It sounds okay but very low fidelity, um, chunky really really grungy um, a lot of feedback they're okay they're just not great um, but this little this little one with the amp inside of this the sound is fantastic I'm really really impressed with it and I'll give you a, a sample of the sound a bit later but what I want to do is to take you through um, how I did it with these two speakers um, that I actually purchased at the same time um, these aren't too bad really, They're, you could use this normally just with your iPad, it's got a, a little jack there, you could do that, I mean battery powered, but I want to change one of them into an amp as well, a guitar amp, and also be able to plug your MP3 player into it as well, so one of them's missing the back, so we'll probably discard that one, although saying that, and this one's got the back, saying that I might be able to, well I should be able to hack this little plug here and plug in uh, the, for my, um, to play music through. And then I'll add another jack somewhere on the side for, for the guitar. Um, and I probably won't use this one, or I might use it for another project. But yeah, so I'm gonna take you through how to do this mod. Um, and it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty easy really. It's, it's, all you need is a couple of tools. Um, but yeah, I'll take you through it and we'll see how this one sounds. Cool. Okay. So the first thing we do is need to take off this cowling, so I'll just unscrew the back and we'll see what I've got inside here. The condition looks pretty good, the outside cover is a bit, a bit wrecked in a few spots, but you know what, it doesn't matter so much. It's just more of a practice amp uh, and it's always interesting to see what type of sound you can get out of these things. So let's. Um, Pull it apart, see what we've got inside here. Alright. Okay, so it came apart pretty easy. Oi, I'll use those. So, insides, a little bit of foam for the back of the speaker just so it doesn't vibrate. We've got the amp here. Um, we've got this is the initial, the original uh, plug that you would plug into your phone or computer, most likely. Um, I'll remove that and just have, and probably attach it to that input there, which is actually an input to the left speaker. Um, okay, looks pretty pretty straightforward. So to turn an amp into, uh, sorry, turn one of these little amplifiers into an actual guitar amp, you need to tap into, you need to find two things. Um, you need to find the negative um, input and you need to find um, the pot for the volume, which is right here. It's pretty sh easy enough to find. If you flip that over, you see that there's three, one, two, three little points. One of those points will allow us to play uh, the guitar through it, and I'll show you how we wire that up. It's pretty straightforward, as I said. So, the first thing we'll do, I think, is cut this old jack off. So, let me find something to cut that with. Okay. We don't need that. The crap. We don't need that anymore. So, and also the batteries um, in this is two D two uh, sorry C batteries, so be three volts. The other one takes two C batteries as well, so a total of six volts. These things run off six volts. So what I'm going to do is use 
face. Um, I will just put uh, four double A's or triple A's and that should fit in the back there pretty nicely and uh, just wire it up that way. So that means we can un just clip off these wires as well. Just makes everything a bit easier. So I'll just cut those off. All right, so we're free. So now we've got that off. Um, it's all pretty straightforward, as I said. The speakers are joined on. You've got a little LED indicator light. I've got the original plug here. But this one here, which is wired, yeah, probably not use that. It looks a little bit complicated. There's, this is, I could use this as an input, but how it's wired up, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. So I will actually just wire up another one of these, which I've got. And um, yeah, so I guess that will be the first, first step. First, we'll solder on a little um, input plug for this. Actually, you know what? Let's do the batteries first. All right, let's sort the batteries out. So inside here, we don't need these anymore. Let's just rip those suckers just out. Put together this um, little, I guess, four times AAA battery holder. I've got a negative, a positive wire here, a negative there. I've just joined the negative and the positive there. So what we're going to do now is to drill a couple of holes in this cowling here. Um, push those wires through so I'll just do that now quickly okay so yeah there they are two little holes push those wires into there uh, so you can see that I've soldered the positive and negative from the amp to the batteries. I mean, I'll probably hot glue those in at some stage just so they're not rattling around inside the cowling. So the next stage is to go get some batteries and then test to make sure that um, A, it turns on. <laughs> That's probably a key part of it. I don't even know how to turn the thing on actually. Should be interesting. Maybe it's one of these switches. And then um, B uh, actually plays music through it. So I'll go and get some batteries and uh, that will be the next step. Okay, so what I've done is I've soldered this female connector onto the original uh, male jack. Um, you can see there's one, two, three points there. Sometimes these have only got two wires coming out of it, a mono, but this one uh, was stereo. So I've that's after a bit of experimentation, played around, worked out the best way to solder those on, and I soldered them together. So now it's time to test. So I've got this male adapter. I'll stick it in. Like that. And then we'll just... Oh, also, for the life of me, I couldn't find the on-off switch for this thing. I actually don't know if it's even got one. So I just added my own. Um, all that is is just wired from the batteries directly to the switch. So you've got to click that on. Uh, once it's on, you can see a little LED indicator on the front goes on. So I know I've got power. Then let me just plug my phone in. Music. Hello. Let's play some avalanches. sound. It's not a bad sound. Once you put the cover on the front, it sound gets a little bit better. Pretty good for a little speaker. So as I mentioned, this is the audio jack for the guitar. There's two tabs. There's a little solder tab there and a little solder tab there. Your positive needs to be soldered to the top tab. Oh, there we are. Top tab there and then the negative to the side tab. Okay, so let's do that now. Done. Simple as that. So now the jack's wired up. Got the, as I said, the positive on the top. Positive on the top. 
the positive joins onto this arm here which touches the male uh, end of the male plug uh, for the guitar lead that's your negative and I'll show you how we wire that up now to the amp right so I've got my circuit board here I've got my plug here the first wire we need to attach is the negative so the negative just got to be touched or soldered onto one of the negative sections on the circuit board all these fat connections are all negative but you can just find the negative from the battery which is this blue wire here on this on this one I can see that it's soldered right there so I'm just going to attach it to the same spot All right. just put a bit of solder in my soldering iron done so now you have a negative connection we're going to work out where this positive end's got to go now that we'll have to go on one of these three little solder points on the on the volume knob here so i'll show you a close-up of that okay so as i mentioned we've done the negative soldered that and connected directly to the negative from the battery but that's fine any of these traces here are all negative anyhow so anywhere along there would be fine next we have the wait, there we are we have the positive now that's got to be soldered onto one of these three points and to work out which one we need to plug the guitar in and uh, give it a strum and then see what sound we get out of if we get any sound out of the speaker by touching these so we'll do that now see how we go all right so I've got the guitar plugged in, I've got the male plugged into the female connector, I've got my little negative, uh, sorry, positive wire here. I'm going to do some strumming and see what I can, what sound I can hear out of the speaker. So we'll just touch these. Nothing. 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 Hang on. There we go. Definitely the middle one, so I'll solder that onto the middle wire, the middle one right here, and uh, we'll give it a shot and see what we get, what sound we get. Yeah, we got some sound. It's not loud. It's pretty clean though. Wow. Just play around a bit. Definitely getting sound out of it, so let's just try and put the cover on top. Yeah, man, we got some sound. Very clean as well, not like the last one I made, it's a little bit more dirty of it. There's definitely sound coming out of that, so that's that. That's the wiring done, really. Now it's just putting this thing together. Um, so I'm gonna start putting it back together. I'll drill some holes on the side for the um, connectors, and then uh, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so that's it, done. Finally got the thing closed, got the two jacks in. Drilled a couple of holes, there's your uh, connector for your guitar and then for your mp3 player or iPod, iPod or whatever. Um, really happy, you know, it looks pretty cool. It's, I mean, obviously the cowlings had it, seen better days, but um, yeah, the music, it plays music really well. Unfortunately, um, although I can hear the guitar through the speaker, I think because these were a pair um, and they ran off the same power, I'm not getting as much sound as I'd like out of the guitar. Although I can hear it, it's not as great as this one I made. This one's um, virtually the same thing. It's got a little uh, jack, input jack for the for your iPhone. And also one for the guitar. Um, it hasn't got as many features as this one. This one's got a, you know, a bass booster and um, a treble boost and things like that. But 
um, I would have to say this one um, works better because maybe it, it, it did come in pairs but it only had one amp so the other one had two amps uh, one in each speaker so yeah I mean I'll put some music through them you can I'll let you hear what they sound like and then I'll, I'll play a bit of guitar through this one and then also through this one so you can um, hear what they both sound right. like so we'll try this one first uh, turn it on it's already playing music. Let's stop that. And we'll play a bit of disclosure, hey? When a fire starts to burn, right? And it starts to spread, she's gonna bring that out. It gets a bit distorted when it's too loud. You can hear it. When a fire starts to burn, right? It's got a sweet spot about there. She's gonna bring that out. The bass is pretty good on it. When a fire starts to burn, right? And it starts to spread, she's gonna bring that out. So as a portable speaker, I mean a really cheap portable speaker, it works really well. Yeah. So let's try the other one. Turn that off. Okay, so this is the other one. I'm flick it on there. Plug it in. And we'll push play. This one sounds better. That's full volume. It's got a great sound to it. Nice, man. Turn the bass off. Yeah, this, this one's got a great sound. So I'm really happy the way this uh, great sound. So let's try this one first. Um, plug it in. I didn't give it full volume. I haven't got a pick, so I'm just going to mess about a bit. But it's got a nice reverb, that's for sure. Right, this speaker's, I'm really impressed. It's chunky, man. I'm really, this is, this is by far the better one. Um, I've made a few, um, uh, radio ones of these and this is a really nice sound really impressed um, it's good it's good all right so let's try the other one now this one you might not be able to hear because the sound meh it's a bit soft um, Very soft, it's really mellow, clean sound, really, really clean. Usually you get a kind of a low fidelity, grungy sound of these things, but. Anyhow, that's that one. Um, I prefer this one for uh, playing guitar on. This one playing music is sweet. Oh, sorry, this one, yeah, playing um, MP3 on is really nice. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And now, that's it. Thank you. Uh, if you want to learn how to make one or you want more instructions, check out the instructor page.